After some big releases in the first half of 2014, there's been a huge shakeup in Tech Radar's top 10 smartphones hot list. Here's our new and updated selection of the best phones money can buy. There's a lot to love about the Samsung Galaxy S4, be it the powerful camera, brilliant screen, long-lasting battery, or just the fluidity of it all. Despite the design criticisms, the Galaxy S4 was one of the greatest smartphones of 2013 and still manages to cling inside the top 10 thanks to its awesome power and great user experience. Of course, it's not always big specs alone that make a great mobile, as this little handset demonstrates. On paper, the Moto G looks like a great phone for the price, and in practice, it lives up to the billing. It exceeds its rivals in several key areas from the well-defined 4.5-inch display to its 1.2GHz dual-core processor with the latest Android software. A few corners have been cut to keep the price down, but when you consider this is a mid-range phone that you can pick up for £100 in places, this can easily be forgotten. It's quite a tumble from the top spot for the HTC One, especially as it was our number one phone for so long. But unless you're desperate to pay a bit less each month, the newer One M8 does everything the original did, but better. But let's not forget what makes this phone so great. A supreme design, Full HD screen and Sense 5.0 sitting over the top of Android KitKat make it a pleasure to use and recommend. Let's not beat around the bush here. The iPhone 5S is a great smartphone thanks to a great package of design, technology and UI intuition. iOS 7 gives Apple's software a much needed refresh and the issue of pricing is starting to diminish somewhat too. Although sadly, a lot of vendors are still charging the same amount for the 5S as they are the 1M8, despite it being a few months older. Apart from a smaller screen and battery, the Xperia Z1 Compact is essentially the Z1 shoved into a smaller frame. Its 4.3-inch display makes it one of the most easy-to-use devices in the hand coming in next to the iPhone 5S, but it does so at a much lower cost and has a great battery life to boot. It's not quite as sharp as some of the others on this list, but it is waterproof and has expandable memory, which more than makes up for it. This is one of the best smartphones out there in terms of bang for your buck, although you can get the LG G2 for around the same price now, and that offers a far superior camera, better battery life and a slew of extra features. Still, the Nexus 5 offers a high-powered CPU, quality screen and the promise of Android updates before anyone else, and all for a very reasonable price. There's so much on offer with the LG G2 that we don't quite know where to start. The insanely good screen, quality camera, excellent audio, even the rear-mounted power and volume buttons were something we came to love. The only things holding it back are the plastic casing and cluttered UI, which drops the premium feel significantly and keeps it from standing out from the crowd. The Galaxy S5 is by far the best phone Samsung has ever produced, with a blazing fast core, large screen and one of the best performers on the market in terms of battery life. On top of that is a clear UI, powerful innards and water and dust resistance. It's the design that really lets it down here. It's something that needs to be updated sorely. It doesn't have to be an all-metal shell, but it does need to evolve. Its rivals might edge over it slightly, but it's very, very tight at the top. Sony's back once again in 2014 with yet another flagship in the shape of the excellent Xperia Z2. The good news is it's impressive, very impressive, with a great battery life, strong power and a decent camera, and it's a bit more robust thanks to being IP58 rated. The design is chunky but premium and front-facing cameras, improved screen, 4K video recording and in-built noise cancellation all make a great device that should sit right near the top of your potential upgrades list. The follow-up to the all-conquering HTC One takes the best of last year's handset and yet still manages to reinvent things enough to make it a massive upgrade over its predecessor. The duo camera is super fast and smart as attack, the 801 chip has drastically boosted battery life, and the upgrade to boom sound is impressive. And as for the design, well, you really have to hold it for yourself. The only criticism we have is the lack of a megapixel upgrade in the camera, which means pictures are less sharp than they could be. But that's a minor point in a phone that otherwise has barely any flaws at all. Do you agree with our top 10 list? How would you rank our selection? Let us know in the comments and for more smartphone news and reviews, be sure to subscribe to techradar.com.